Hello YouTube. Let me spin you around. Today I am adjusting my throttle position sensor on my 1996 Nissan Pathfinder. It's got a VG33E in it with the manual drive cables. And I figured while I was at it I could share it with you guys. Maybe help you out. Okay, as you can see, if you can see, on the side of your throttle body here, you have your throttle position sensor. It's got two plugs. Okay, on the inside of that, if I can get you a shot. Forgive my clumsiness. Okay, you see three pins on the top one. The top two pins are what we're going to be using for this adjustment. And basically all you have to do is have an ohm meter. You turn it on ohms on the lowest setting. And you hook it up to the top two pins inside your throttle position sensor on the wide open throttle pins. Shaky camera while I'm plugging her in. See, I just put the alligator clips on it like that. On your TPS, you have two screws, seven millimeter and Phillips. Um, you know, you could use either to loosen them up. But um, one's under the TPS down there, and one's above it. And you just loosen them up and you turn the throttle position sensor down or up like this depending on what yours is reading until you get low ohms which right now have around 19 point about 20 ohms give or take a little bit um, in the instructions it says zero ohms or shorted but ever since I've been doing this adjustment every time I've had to do it mine's read 20 24 something like that but um yeah, if anybody else has done this out there, please let me know if it reads shorted or not. They may have been using diode check or something. But anyway, um, you also need feeler gauges. You have your 0.3 millimeter feeler gauge, which is 12 thousandths, or 0.4, which is 16 thousandths. Okay, which is you know, 0.012 or 0.016. And all you have to do let me get you a light up here where you may see. I don't know if you can see how shine it on there. Is um, after you get your connectors hooked up, right there. There's the meter again. You just take your twelve thousandths and you open up the throttle position sensor, and you stick the twelve thousandths in between the adjustment screw, which you should never adjust on these per the factory and a little stopping plate behind it. See him standing up. Let me zoom out a little. Hope you can get a shot of that so you understand what I'm talking about. And then you look at your meter, it should still re read um, low ohms or you know whatever close to what it was reading before you stuck it in there, which it does. And then you pull it out and it goes, you know, stays the same. Or, you know, only changes a couple of hours. Oh, I got a text message, yay. And then you use your 16 thousandths and stick it in there, and that's when your meter should read open. And that's the symbol for open on my cheap meter. Um, this one was about 20 bucks. You can get them cheaper at Harbor Freight. I've seen them for, you know, around $6, actually. So not a big expensive thing to do. And um, get you another shot of this with better lighting, maybe. So you can just... I do have a head cold, and, and then when you pull it out, your meters obviously want to go back to um, your low ohm situation, which it does. Okay, so this one's adjusted, but if it wasn't reading correctly, you know, at the start position or when you put in your feeler gauges, you obviously just adjust it a teeny bit at a time as a told you until it reads what it's supposed to read and you're finished. You uh, tighten up the screws, check it one more time and call it good.
hopefully this helped you out in some small way. I apologize for the poor lighting and the shaky camera. I'm using my cell phone and, and my shop light. I just figured while I was at it, I'd, I'd try to put it out there for you guys just in case you was working on something similar. Have a good one.